Alrighty, so today, the Trade Finder only rebuild. I can't make any free agency signings. I can't make any draft picks. I'm only making moves to improve the team through the Trade Finder. And we all know the Trade Finder isn't always the best. So I have a feeling this one's going to be a pretty tough rebuild. So I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And of course, guys, get in the comment section if you have any other rebuilds and you want to be, you know, posted on the video or shouted out in a future video. Give me some of your ideas down below. That's really about it, guys. If you did miss the last video, it was the most requested video I think I've ever had. The draft only rebuild. It's up here in the top corner. Go and give it a watch. And that's about it. Let's get into it. I don't really know who I'm going to pick. I guess we could just kind of go like this. And oh, I looked and boom. The San Francisco Giants. Oh, I regret doing that. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Let's see how it goes. Um, we're going to turn on the DH. And uh, I guess this is what we're going to do. The Trade Finder Only Rebuild. Remember, guys, hit that like button. It helps me out because then I know you guys want to do more videos like this or you want to see some more videos like this. So make sure you hit that like button. And um, it helps you guys out because then I know you guys like these. And then I, I bring you more videos like that. So uh okay what are we gonna do with this team man who i don't know <laughs> this is uh this is an interesting one for sure what could we do huh pitching looks pretty bad i have a feeling that's gonna be a tough place to make some trades relief pitching's iffy bullpen you know eh. buster posey not the best contract would love to get rid of that uh same with belt Dubon's okay. Flores is okay. We got Longoria. You know, I'm looking at this team and I go, this is probably like one of the worst teams we could have gotten from randomizing and picking. So we're going to have to figure out a couple trades. Let me see what trade finder things we could find. I didn't like the way that that went about going. Uh, how I said that. I didn't like that at all. So one of the first players I do want to get rid of is probably Evan Longoria. Yeah, he just doesn't ever do well. Um, I know I'm gonna have to pair a prospect with him. Marco Luciano is not gonna be ready by the time this rebuild is over. So let's just try to figure out what we can get out of this and see if there's anything good. Michael Chavis, okay, that's not a terrible one, along with Josh Taylor, who's one of the better lefties you could get. Eduardo Rodriguez, Christian Vasquez, okay. Kirby Yates, eh, you know, that's not the best. Looking at the West, probably shouldn't because I don't like doing trades within a division. Tommy Edmond, but the other two guys, not that great. Giovanni Gallegos. Josh Bell. Okay. You know what? That, that one might be the move right away. Josh Bell, that's a big, big pickup. So I'm going to go through the rest, see if I can find anything else. But I'm, I might be sold on Josh Bell. That one's not a bad one either. The Conforto Mats combo. Ooh, they're actually throwing me some nice deals. Like, I'm actually, ooh, I'm kind of torn now. Conforto and Mats or Josh Bell. You know what? I'm still feeling that that Josh Bell trade. Actually, Conforto and, ooh, Conforto and, that that might be the, Conforto and Mats. That gives us a good picture. I'm going to do that one, the Conforto and Mats trade. And uh, let's make that trade happen. There we go. There's deal one. All right, so I won't make you sit here and go through like my whole thought process because I do know it's it, it'll be a long video otherwise. So the next trade I'm going to do is Johnny Cueto. When I find it, I'll show you guys the move. All righty, so this is what I did instead. I added a Ramis Garcia, Soria, and Canna. I'm okay with this deal. Canna, good bat. We all know he's a beast. Soria, decent bullpen arm. We do need some bullpen help. So I'll take this deal. Plus, Cueto's got a two-year deal. I don't want that. We do need some pitching help. Mike Miner, I'm going to do that for Brandon Belt and Will Wilson. All right. Um, I So I said I'm not allowed to make free agency signings. I'm allowed to re-sign players that were already on the team. So like with contracts expiring. So like Yomer Sanchez, say he has like a really good year this year. I can bring him back. I just can't go out and sign like Mookie Betts who becomes a free agent at the end of the season. I solely want this to be a trade finder rebuild which is going to be tough because like i don't want to get rid of all our prospects 
but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to start bringing in like multiple players so that we can build this team up. So especially since like I can't let players walk away because we don't necessarily have a way to bring in players besides through trades. So let me see what I can find and hopefully we can get some good deals done. Alrighty, so Aaron Hicks is normally someone I don't get, but we're kind of in need of an outfielder, like a center fielder. And that wouldn't be a terrible center fielder to have for the future. I'm gonna trade Smartstra and Derek Rodriguez for Hicks, Talkman, the Sockman, and Adam Warren. So I think that might be the last trade I make. Let's see what we can do with the team. All right, so I need a backup. And I'm not going to use Billy Hamilton or Alex Dickerson. And Josh Fegley for a backup catcher is actually not terrible. I'm going to take this one. And that's definitely the last trade. Here's the lineup. So like I mentioned, we are going to use the Universal DH. And this is the team. We've got Hicks, Yastrzemski, Conforto, Canna, Talkman, Dubon, Flores, Posey, and Crawford. I'm actually not too disappointed with what the team or like what kind of team we were able to put together. You know what? It might not be terrible. It might not be terrible. We'll have to wait and see. I do have to call up uh, Josh Fegley, but that's really the only move that I need to change for the lineup. And then the pitching rotation. This is the bad area. Like, I'm talking really, really bad. And I don't know what kind of players we're going to be able to trade to get better pitching. So, hopefully, after the end of the season, we can make some moves and get some better pitchers. But for right now, this is what we're rocking with. I'll see you guys at the end of the season and see how it plays out. As expected, season was, uh, oh boy, 63-99. and 99. Yikes, that's a bad year right there. So, let's take a look at the standings. You know, we were last. We might have been like the worst team in baseball. Actually, no, the Pirates were pretty bad. And, uh, okay. Uh, you know, it was a bad season. It was, it was just not good. It was not good. No league leaders. We'll take a quick little peek at who was the league leader for certain stats, though, just to kind of get an idea of what's going on in the league. Mike Trout, Rosario for doubles, triple was, triples was Turner and VR, and then Jordan with 54 home runs and 46 for Pete Alonso. So let's take a look at awards. It's kind of the next step. Suarez and Jordan, okay. Cy Young went to Cole and Scherzer, and then we take a look at the rest of the awards. Some interesting names, some that, some that you normally don't see. Kwon Young Kim actually won Rookie of the Year, and Sutsugo is there. So, let's go take a look at how bad we did, because this could be terrible. Mike Miner, absolutely disgusting. What is that? Drew Smiley, god-awful. Kevin Gosman, okay. We can work with that. Steven Matz, what? Sean Anderson, like, pitching... Like I said, it was going to be bad. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. This is this is bad. Trevor got, though. I'll, that's good. Harlan Garcia, nice. Tony Watson, we can work with that. We can't work with that. We can work with that, though. That That's just not good enough. Like, we don't even, we don't even have people to get excited for it in the farm system either. So, it's like, we're going to need to get some really good trades coming up. Finesse some teams. Because right now, we're kind of screwed on the pitching department. The bench, Hunter Pence was decent. The thing is, like, he's already a 61 overall. What? I guess we maybe bring him back? I don't know. Aaron Hicks, though, solid leadoff hitter. You know what? Put up good numbers. Yastrzemski put up some solid numbers. Conforto obviously put up some really good numbers as well. And then we take a look at the rest of the team. It's just not good enough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to come up with some crazy big finesses because... We are in some trouble. Maybe should have taken, who was it? The trade instead of Conforto for Josh Bell. Maybe that was like a bet. I don't know. Right now, it's not looking promising. So we got to figure something out. The Astros defeat the Dodgers. And let's keep going. Let's see what we can do. Retired players. Pence is like, I've had enough. This, we just can't. We're not good. We're not. <laughs> I'm not coming back. So what I'm going to do is. I guess bring everybody back like we had Pablo down there I might have to use Pablo next year if you don't know what Pablo be looking like nowadays I'm talking whoo thick boy we live in he he was uh living it up quarantine like no other like he made sure DoorDash was on speed dial for Pablo um we're gonna I don't really want to give Mike Miner another year but we don't really have another choice I'm going to give everybody some contracts. Hopefully, they're like, hey, yeah, we can come back. You know what? 
You're going to pay us to come back and be bad? Sure. I'll definitely do it. And uh, let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to offer everybody here a contract. Tony Watson. Unfortunately, it's just I know he's going to fall off a lot. Um, I'm going to do the whole like club option deal and see if they take it. Hopefully they do. Adam Warren was pretty bad. I definitely want to bring back Panda. Like there's no reason not to. Um, you know what? We'll give him the whole like you're going to be a platoon guy. I'll bump it up a little bit. Give him some extra cash. And then I'm going to let the other guys go. And we're just going to have to finesse some trades there. Hopefully they work. If they don't, then we're in for a very tough rebuild for sure. I'm going to make sure we don't lose anybody in the 40 man. Arbitration, I'm just going to offer it to everybody. Contracts, I'm going to offer it to everybody. And um, I was thinking about it. Most likely, we'll have to sign some people to fill out the minor league roster. So those will be the only moves I make. I'm talking like, when I say that, I mean I'm going to sign like the guys who are at like the 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 bottom like these guys like the 50 overalls so like they really aren't going to come into play at any point during this because the likelihood of me actually trading these guys not likely so it's if i do sign anybody it will be this i will show you all the changes that i make the trades that i make and i'll see you guys for season two so the start of season two i'm in desperate need of pitching like unbelievable amount of pitching so we're gonna go to this trade Patrick Bailey is going to be traded for Lauer and Alex Claudio. And uh, that's the move. There's one. Uh, because, I mean, look at this bullpen. It is not pretty. So, we definitely need some help there. Um, looking at the team, a lot of disappointing players, like, in terms of offensive production. So, I definitely want to find some better hitters. How I'm going to do that, I'm not too sure. But um, I feel like we, we definitely need to find some better pitching as well. So, let's see what I can do. Some more bullpen help. We're going to get Luke Jackson. I think. I think. I mean, I've been looking around at the other deals that we have. And actually, that Mitch one wouldn't be bad. But I'm looking at other deals. And I think the Luke Jackson one is probably the best. Nick Whitgren isn't bad either. I don't know, man. This is this sucks. I hate this already. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think besides that, the only other one that I considered was this one for Edgar Santana. But, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, let's go Luke Jackson. Let's give it a shot. There we go. Our starting pitching is looking kind of shoddy now, <laughs> like really shoddy. But um, at least the bullpen is moving in the right direction. I do want to find some better hitting. I'm not too sure where I'm going to find that or who I need to get rid of. Maybe Dubon, his season just was just meh. Same with Yolmer, just garbage. So let me see what I can find. All right, so this is the trade I'm going to do. I'm going to get Domingo Santana. And then I'm going to trade... Oh, who am I trading for the outfield? Yastrzemski? I know a lot of people are going to hate that. Do I want to trade Yastrzemski? Ooh. And the thing is, like, if I back out of this trade, I don't know if I'm going to get it back. Uh, How did Yastrzemski do last year? He didn't do terribly. His contract's pretty good. It's just, I don't know if he's going to get much better. And, like, looking at our other outfielders like these two guys i'm gonna keep domingo santana gives me a little bit younger of an outfielder who's gonna progress and like what did domingo santana do last year because i'm kind of intrigued to see what he did in comparison to what yastrzemski did like that's such a better production i gotta i hope i can get that trade back because if i don't get that trade back i'm gonna be super upset so and I guess I could keep like backing out until that trade comes back. It's still there. Now I need a new third baseman. So I'm going to trade Yastrzemski and see if I can find another infielder to fill out that spot. Let me tell you, there are some really good trades here. Fran Mil Reyes. Are you kidding me? Fran Mil Reyes? I would take that in a heartbeat if our outfield wasn't already stacked. There was another one that I got offered that I was like, dang, this is a really good trade. Pablo Lopez would be a great starter to have. And uh, again, our pitching could use an improvement. And I'm like, ooh, maybe we take this one instead. Oh, man. Ooh, I'm going to... I got to think about this. I, I got to think about it. All right. I really need the pitching. We really do. Let's trade Pablo Lo for, for Pablo Lopez. And then now that kind of gives us an abundance of starters who like, you know what? Let's just get rid of like, I think Drew Smiley was the worst. And let's just like package him with like, I don't know, Austin Slater. Yeah, Austin Slater is not going to do much better. I definitely think we can get a good third baseman from this. On second thought, let's go with this one. Jose Martinez, Nick Anderson. Good bullpen arm. Good, like, hitting player as well. 
All right, let's get this lineup sorted. All right, so after those trades, here we are. We've got Lopez, Mats, Lauer, Gosman, and Suarez with Anderson as the long reliever. I mean, I don't really know where else we could go with this to make the team a little bit better. Maybe bring up Logan Webb instead of Sean Anderson. Uh, but for right now, you know what? The team's looking all right. We've got Claudio, Jackson, Gop, Anderson, Maranta, and then Soria. I'm actually going to make... I'm going to go like that. I like that a lot better. But the bullpen, big steps in like the right direction, which is up and proving. And even the offense looks good. Hicks, Martinez, Conforto, Canna, Santana, Dubon, Robinson. We've even got Pablo Sandoval starting and then Buster Posey. And then we've got Joey Bart, who I think could definitely take over for Posey. A couple other guys. We're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do when we lose Crawford to free agency. Probably just empty out the farm system some more by making trades. But right now, I'm liking the team. We're actually improving which is kind of crazy to think about and okay we're only 23rd but you know what i have faith in this team i'll see you guys at the end of season two so i'm trying to prove the pitching at the trade deadline we're about seven games out in the wild card i'm not gonna bring back buster posey so why not try to get someone that we can bring back next year Corey kluber i feel like that's a good move let's do it Alrighty, the orioles are offering me john means this is a no-brainer steven Matz, get out of here you're not doing well Alrighty, so we're making steps in the right direction. We didn't do as good as I would have hoped, but at least we're we're getting closer. 83 and 79. I mean, that has to be close to a, a postseason spot, right? Obviously, in the West, we're in a pretty tough division. But in the wild card, three games out. Okay. Okay. ERA is still a little bit high, but the average is looking good. Again, no league leaders. Super disappointing. But like i uh, i mean we're we're heading in the right direction which is a big big step i think some of those moves that we're making are really paying off so all right all right i like to see that let's take a look at the awards castellanos won mvp and then Jordan. i think adding that dh is really like just making things incredibly just overpowered for offenses like i feel like i'm noticing a lot of higher eras i'm noticing a lot of higher like just the pitching stats are like kind of taking a hit but the hitting stats are going up as well which is i guess is kind of fun kind of cool to see and uh let's see how our bullpen is doing you know what i'm pretty happy with what i'm seeing there that besides nick anderson everything else i'm really happy with the starting rotation i'm pretty happy with that too obviously a couple eyesores but for the most part that's a big improvement. That was a huge improvement. Um, I called up Fegley from AAA because we don't have Buster Posey anymore. And then this is the rest of the squad. I tried to find a trade for Brandon Crawford. There just really wasn't any good ones that just made sense to get. So um, that's the move. Aaron Hicks is fantastic for our center fielder. Um, Jose Martinez is still putting up decent numbers. Conforto put up a good season. Mark Canna fell off a little bit. Might need to find a replacement for him. Domingo Santana, oh no. Dubon, though, had a good season. Drew Robinson's having a good year. Pablo Sandoval even had a decent season. And then you have Joey Bart, who, you know what? He's going to improve. I have the faith. Final season, we're going to do one more because I want to make the postseason. And kind of like my three-year window is usually what I do anyways. The Indians defeat the Dodgers. Okay. Uh, potentially might not be the Indians anymore with a, a possible name change in the future but we'll have to wait and see how that pans out and let's uh let's figure these out so definitely gonna throw i mean we're gonna throw money to everybody i would assume all right so crawford's gonna go i offered flores a contract canna claudio gosman i declined his team option santana soria and conforto and then i brought back sandoval on his club option which was like two million so that was, those are the moves that um, I've done so far. So let's take a look. 40 man, probably Matos, just in case he gets taken from another team. Arbitration, everybody, contracts, everybody. Can't afford to lose anybody in the team. And then we're going to start making some trades for season three. Alrighty, we're trying to win. We really need to take this deal. Webb and Anderson for Yarborough. There we go. And uh, obviously this is season three. I'm really happy with the team as a whole i want to get a better hitting first baseman i just have a feeling those two guys are going to fall off so let's see what i can find yoshi satsugo let's give him a shot we're going to stick him at first base see how it goes 
and I think that might be it depending on like what I see with the team but I, th I think that might be it last move I'm gonna go for Ian Happ and move him to second base I think that's it that is finally the last move. All right, final season. This is the team. We've got Lopez, Kluber, Means, Yarbrough, and Lauer with Suarez, Soria, Claudio, Gott, Maranta, Anderson, and Jackson in the bullpen. The bullpen was really good last year. No point in changing it. And the lineup, a couple tweaks here and there. Obviously, Sutsugo and Hap being the two new additions. Um, Sandoval's in the mix as well. We got we to gotta throw them in there. And this is the team. I'm actually really happy with it. I think we're going to score a lot of runs. I think we're going to have a really good team. We're making the postseason. I'll see you guys at the end of Season 3. I mean, even on top of that, I've kept this team within budget, which is a big, big, big challenge. But we did it. We did it. We got rid of those big contracts. We brought in some better players. I like it. So I'll see you guys at the end of season three. We'll see how it plays out. We did it. We made the postseason. Yes, there we go. The trade finder team was able to do it. 94 and 68. We are a wild card team, so not too high of hopes, but at least we made it uh, eight games out behind the Dodgers. But you know what? I'm really happy with what we were able to put up with or put up with this team, especially since it was really difficult circumstances. As you can see, we were the wild card team, the top wild card team, and uh, pretty competitive throughout the league. When you look at all the divisions, there we have a league leader hits for Conforto, and um, some pretty high averages for sure. A uh, couple interest forty five. Who is this Richie Benitez guy? Okay, eleven triples. What else we got? Forty nine home runs, fifty home runs. Okay, and then we take a look at awards. Sadly, no awards, but Yelich pops off for MVP. Jordan wins MVP once again. And you guys can see the rest of the awards here. So, okay. I'm pretty happy with the way the team came together. This was actually a pretty cool team to put together with just the trade stipulations that we did have. Because, like, when you look at it, the fact that we were able to do this is in insane so obviously the long relievers were kind of meh throughout the entire thing but soria was a great pickup you know claudio was solid trevor got surprisingly was fantastic throughout this entire thing reyes maranta eh, we won't talk about him nick anderson had a bounce back season luke jackson outstanding and i mean the bullpen was great the last two years and then the pitchers we were able to acquire lopez kluber was okay you know, John Means, we've got Yarbrough, Lauer, like those are, that was actually a good turnaround from what we originally had. And then of course, when you look at the lineup, the bench was iffy, but then you look at our actual starters, Aaron Hicks, surprisingly very good, might be a player I start to get more and more in franchise. We've got Dubon who, yeah, he had a little bit of a fall off this year. Conforto, great pickup. We've got Sutsugo, solid pickup for this season. Santana was okay. Ian Happ, that was a good pickup to move to second base for us. Drew Robinson, wasn't expecting anything from this guy. Kind of good. And then Joey Bart, pretty similar to what he did last year. And let's see what Kung Fu Panda did. All right. Nothing, nothing happened there. So let's do this match here. Hopefully we don't get knocked out. But um, I'm not expecting too much. We're coming up against the Nationals. Let's see how it goes. And Pablo Lopez will take the mound. And let's let's just see. We, they've got Starling Marte, Chris Bryant, Salvador Perez. Oh, wow. Vidal Brujan was in the mix too. Talk about a team. Talk about a team indeed. Wow. That's a, a pretty stacked lineup for sure. And so far, pretty quiet game. Pablo Lopez, though, gets out of that jam. Love to see it. And, um, okay, only four hits between the two teams. Okay, make it five now. And you know what? This is this is a pretty close matchup. Can we get this run though? Can't. Ooh, that, that one sucks. I have a feeling a run's coming seventh or eighth inning. That's when it's gonna happen. Seventh or eighth inning. And maybe this inning. Panda, you couldn't do it. Oh man. Alrighty. Here it is. Seventh or eighth inning. What's it gonna be? I'm gonna take out Lopez. He's just getting tired. No point in keeping him in. I'm going to go to Gott, who's been fantastic. And, dude, that's tough. That that one hurts. All right, come on. Give us something here. First and second for Joey Bart. Nothing happens. 
and double play was big there and a strikeout so it comes down to pablo hicks and dubon to keep the rebuild alive and it's over it's over man that one oof that one's tough i hope you did enjoy it though the trade finder rebuild it was a challenge and the fact that we were able to come up with this team is pretty impressive so i hope you did enjoy it thumbs up down below if you did remember in the comment section let me know your ideas or if you make any rosters let me know in the comment section down below and that's about it guys make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new and enjoyed the content i'm gonna leave you with two videos on screen now if you haven't seen either of them go and give them a watch and i'll see you all in the next one peace